Hi, this is Mobile Network Comparison and today we're looking at the new A-series phone from Lenovo, the Lenovo A850. So previously we've taken a look at the A789 and the A820 and if you head over to our website at mobilenetworkcomparison.org.uk you'll see our full in-depth reviews where we go into all the details about every aspect of these phones, compare them together and we'll of course be doing the same so watch out for our review of the Lenovo A850 coming soon. But for now I'm just going to hit test and start looking at the benchmark scores for this phone to see quite how well it's performing. So I'm using Antutu Benchmark to do this test and that's going to test all aspects of the phone. So we're going to be looking at the RAM, the CPU, even the Dalphit cache you just saw just now and of course the ever important graphical performance. So just to give you a little bit of information about this phone. So it's obviously the upgraded version of the A820 and it's got a bigger screen, it's got the same amount of RAM and slightly worse cameras but it's got a much better processor because this thing is rocking a quad core 1.3 gig Cortex A7 processor which should demonstrate um, its power quite dramatically in these benchmark tests. In terms of graphics it's got a Power VR SGX 544 and that's pretty standard for these MediaTek chipset based phones quite a lot of which we're coming we're seeing coming from China. So the actual chipset this one is running is the MT6582M and it's a pretty decent thing. I mean, like I said already, it includes this 1.3 gig quad core processor and we should see some pretty impressive scores when we get the final results. So what else do we know about this phone? Well, um, you know, it's running the latest version of Android Jelly Bean, Android 4.2. And it's kind of new. I mean, this was only actually announced back in August, and it's only very recently come out. We've been playing around with it for the last few weeks. We finally got our, our copy in, imported from China, and we've been using it every day. And, of course, we're going to give our full impressions in our proper review, which is going to come very, very shortly. I'm working on that right now. But this is just a benchmark video to show you how well it performs compared to various other Android smartphones. So... It's cranking on through the tests right now, just checking the storage input output performance and soon we're going to be getting on to the graphical capability. So just a quick word about that. This phone, you can't really tell from these pictures because there's no sort of context to see quite how big it is, but it's massive. It's got this huge 5.5 inch IPS screen. Unfortunately the resolution is not the greatest as you can probably see just from the size of the graphics during these tests. It's only got a QHD 540 by 960 resolution, so it's not going to be the best for 720p and 1080p video playback, if it can actually keep up with it at all, but um, it still looks great even though you can kind of make out the pixels if you squint and look close enough. Anyway, so we're looking at the 3D graphics performance now. Um, it's pretty impressive, I mean we're kind of hitting 20 frames per second now, a little bit above, a little bit below, and yeah it looks great. I mean it performs really really well and I'm just gonna wait for this test to finish to find out exactly what sort of scores we're getting but I think overall especially due to that um, fast CPU we're gonna see that it's doing pretty well so it's just finished now and let's see what we're getting so you can see it's just behind the Samsung Galaxy S3 and we're getting a score of 16,853 I think let's just have a quick look at the details yeah, that's pretty damn good. So there you have it, the Lenovo A850, the new smartphone from Lenovo, imported from China, great benchmark scores, and we're going to come with the full review pretty shortly and, of course, our full tutorial to installing custom ROMs on it. So stay tuned and get ready to check it out. Thanks for watching.